So I'm running an Epiphone Les Paul into Logic Pro and I'm just running it through a clean virtual amp. So the first effect I've got on my guitar is Retro Chorus. So I've got it on quite weak here. The next effect I've put on my guitar is Tremolo and I've again put it on quite light just to add a subtle effect. The next effect I have on my guitar is a tape delay and you can either use tape delay or analog delay for this. It makes it sound old fashioned and nostalgic. So the next thing to consider when writing guitar parts is uh, the chord progressions you're going to use. For lo-fi there's a very specific trick and that is to add 7th, 9th, 11th and 13th notes to your chords. So I'm going to take a simple chord progression here and I'm going to change them into 7th, 9th and 11th chords. So there's my five tips on how to get great lo-fi guitar tone and create very lovely lo-fi chord progressions.